Faced with a soaring public debt, Italy's economy is struggling to stay afloat. Now this island of Venice is one of five prime holdings auctioned online on Tuesday by the state. The first of a number of sales that should bring $700 million in the state's coffers by the end of the year. The island of Poveglia is only a 10 minutes boat ride from St. Mark's Square, but it's miles away from the glamour of Venice. Once a dumping ground for plague victims, the island was last used as a mental institution until the 70s. Since then, it has been laid abandoned in a state of ruin and earned a reputation as a haunted island. The only tourists left are the occasional ghost hunters. The state's real estate agency hopes the island's troubled past won't scare off investors. The island has been abandoned for 35 years. We put it up for sale because we want someone to make it valuable and make it accessible to the public. The auction is open to everyone. If it ends up in the hands of a Venetian, all the better. The state says that selling this island will not only help it raise funds to cut the public debt, it will also give it a new lease of life. But not many Venetians are buying this explanation. This group of Venetians who live across the lagoon started a collection to enter the auction. With a contribution of $120 each, they hope to beat other bidders and prevent Poveglia from falling into private hands. The fact that it's been abandoned by the state doesn't mean that it's been abandoned by the community that lives around here and that uses the lagoon as uh, their own world, their own world. And the idea that we shouldn't be able to uh, moor there any longer, as it has happened in the neighboring islands, uh, we do not like. By Tuesday morning, these locals raised more than $400,000. Other potential buyers from around the world will have time until Tuesday afternoon to enter their bids. Should it end in private hands, locals say the winner's gain will be the Venetian's loss. Claudio Lavanga, Al Jazeera, Venice.